Sweden woman wakes up to the frightening sound of a bullet smashing through her bedroom wall. What's worse, that stray round traveled through several walls and out a kitchen window with her three children and elderly mother inside. Uh, deputies tell us they have since made an arrest at a house next door. Fox 5's Doug Evans took our Skyfox drone to the neighborhood to find out where else the bullet traveled. Skyfox drone follows the path of the bullet fired from a bathroom in this house. It traveled out and entirely through the house next door. The slug then traveled through these woods and then hit the house two doors down from where it was first fired. Hit it so hard, the security alarm went off. We were just scared, you know, we didn't know what to do. She said, Mama, what to do? There's something going on. Like then I said, I don't know, hon. I said, but she said, I'm so glad everybody alive. So she said, well, we got to get ready to call the police. Let's see what's going on. Five people were inside. No one was hit. Oh, I don't know. I'm just glad we're alive. Laura Reed said the bullet passed through the wall above her daughter's headboard and she was in bed. It traveled through a living room and came out a kitchen window. Deputies have arrested Antonio Cantrell and Alexis Durkins. They are charged with being felons in possession of a firearm. Investigators say the couple was arguing when she fired the round that went through her neighbor's house. Investigators say they seized these two guns. They say the round that was fired was a 9mm. Right, it's extremely dangerous. It was just within inches of where she was in bed. She also had children in the house that could have been struck by that as well. It was a miracle call. I could have been dead right now. An investigator tells me that Alexis Durkins could face additional charges, including aggravated assault or reckless conduct. In Coweta County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.